And in our health cast, today is a new hope for millions of people who suffer from hand osteoarthritis. Patients with this disease have a genetic mutation that impacts levels of retinoic acid that's associated with higher inflammation in your tissue. Dr. George Gonzalez says researchers found that a medication that was originally developed for skin disorders could also be repurposed to modify the course of this disease. At the moment, we don't have a cure, but this is extremely exciting news because we might have an option now to prevent or to at least slow down the natural progression of degeneration and therefore can help a lot of patients, hopefully. The study showed that the drug tarolazole can boost retinoic acid levels and then reduce inflammation in the joint. Such good news there. Meantime, the American Academy of Pediatrics recently updated its guidelines for treating children and teenagers with obesity. A comprehensive obesity treatment now includes nutritional support, physical activity guidance, and behavioral support as well. Medications, even bariatric surgery, have been proven to be safe and effective, but the Academy noted that only teens 13 and older with severe obesity should be considered for surgery. The Academy also emphasizes the need for greater social support. Obesity is really uh, highly dependent on the social environment in which we live, and that includes our family and household structure, but also uh, the social environment of our neighborhoods, schools, and recreational areas. So they really took all of that into account. The Academy does plan to discuss obesity prevention in an upcoming policy statement.